Hello grade 12s. Today we will look at what a sinking fund is and the calculations involved in sinking funds. A sinking fund is a future value investment. Companies open a sinking fund to make sure that they have enough money to replace equipment which has devalued over time, like machinery or vehicles. A sinking fund question may involve a number of calculations. The first calculation would be to determine scrap value of the old equipment at the time it needs to be replaced. We can do this with the compound or simple interest formula, depending on whether there has been a compound or straight line depreciation. Next, we need to determine the cost of the new equipment at the time when the old equipment needs to be replaced. We will use the compound or straight line appreciation formula depending on what is given. And then we need to calculate the amount of money the company needs to save to afford to buy the new equipment. This saving is called the sinking fund and we use the future value formula to calculate this. Let's look at an example together. Masipumelele Primary bought a bus for 300,000 rand. Its value depreciates at 10% per annum. It will be replaced with a new one in nine years. The cost of a new bus appreciates at 5% per annum, compounded quarterly. Let's start by determining the scrap value of the bus in nine years' time. We are going to use the compound depreciation formula that reads A equals P bracket 1 minus I bracket to the power of N. With P equal to 300,000, I equal to 10 divided by 100, which equals 0, 0,1, and N equal to 9. Substituting these values into the equation gives us A equals 300,000 bracket 1 minus 0, 0,1 bracket to the power of 9. This gives us an answer of 116,226 rent and 15 cents. This scrap value is the amount of money the school will be able to get when scrapping or selling the bus. Now let's calculate the cost of a new bus in nine years' time when the school needs it. We are going to use the compound appreciation formula that reads A equals P bracket 1 plus I bracket to the power of N. With P equal to 300,000, I equal to 5 divided by 100 divided by 4, which equal 1 divided by 80, and n equal to 9 multiplied by 4, which equals 36. Substituting these values into the equation gives us A equals 300,000 bracket 1 plus 1 divided by 80 bracket to the power of 36. This gives us an answer of 469,183 rand and 15 cents. The new bus costs a lot more than the scrap value of the old one. Let's see how the school will be able to afford it. A sinking fund is opened offering 11% per annum compounded monthly. The scrap value of the bus is used as a deposit. Determine the equal monthly investments into the sinking fund in order to have enough money to buy the new bus in nine years. Let's use the future value formula. This reads F equals X double bracket 1 plus I bracket to the power of N minus 1 bracket divided by I. We need to determine X, which is the equal monthly investment. F is the price of a new bus minus the scrap value, which is equal to 352,957 rand. Therefore, F equals 352,957 rand. I equals 0, 0,11 divided by 12, and N equals to 9 times 12, which equals 108. We substitute these values into the formula and punch the values on the right-hand side of the equation into a calculator. This will give us 352957 equals 
x multiplied by 183,1772117. We now divide both sides by 183,177, which will give us a final answer of 1,926 rand and 86 cents. Masipumelele Primary School needs to invest 1,926 rand and 86 cents every month for nine years in order to have enough money to purchase the new bus. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about financial mathematics on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.